All right, let's talk about this. Wow, this is insane. We have a $90 mount on the store. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Now, I have a I have a very unique take on this. Now, I do wish Aspen Gold wasn't taking a break right now. I really do wish um I I'd love to hear his opinions on this. But because he's not here, let's let's make this video and let's talk about this. We have a $90 mount in a $50 game that we pay $15 a month to play. This mount is more. You pay more for this mount than the game. I don't think people are, are, are comprehending this. But I'm not mad at Blizzard. I'm not mad at Blizzard at all. At first, I was like, "Why? Why is Blizzard doing this? What? What is?" It? But after reading people's comments and looking at the trains people are making with this mount, I'd do it too. If Blizzard can milk these players like this and they love it, why not? If if I could go outside and pick up a handful of dirt. And tell someone, give me $10 and I'll throw this in your face. And they'll give me $10? I'd throw it in their face. That's what Blizzard's doing right here. And, and Blizzard's testing you right now. I don't know if people understand this. What did people pay? What was it, $80 or $90 for early access? Players paid almost double... Almost double the uh, the fee of fifty bucks. I think it was like ninety dollars. Let's say let's say it was ninety dollars. Could have been eighty for an extra three days early access. Three days, you pay fifteen dollars a month to, for thirty days of game time. People paid an extra what thirty forty dollars for three days. Blizzard said, uh-huh, we're doing that for the rest of the World of Warcraft that that is here. If it lasts for another 10 years, every expansion, that's being added. Now, they just added a $90 mount. There are people out there that are making trains with this mount. They are sitting there and they are bragging that they spent this. There are people that are... Most of the people that bought this mount... Couldn't afford this mount. I read comments. Man, my next paycheck, I'm picking this right up. If you can't purchase this mount right now because you don't have enough funds, you probably can't afford it. If you have to wait till your next paycheck to purchase a $90 mount in a video game that you do not own, do people not realize... If you get banned, you lose everything. Blizzard owns your account. You have to agree to that. If I was to draw a dinosaur on a piece of paper and give it to you and say, give me $90 for this. That is worth more than this mount. Yet people will brag and say, oh, I had to do it. I didn't want to, but I had to. That's a problem. If you if you feel that you need this so bad that you are willing to spend $90 on amount, that is insane. But you can't blame you can't blame Blizzard anymore. You can't blame them at all. It's these players that are doing this that uh that are showing Blizzard that, hey, you guys can do whatever you want and we will fight for you. We will fight for you, Blizzard. If they release uh, if they release BFA as the new expansion, but recolored, and you gave them a $90 option to play it three days early, people would buy it. And I'm not exaggerating. And people would tell you why it's good. Players would argue why it is good. It is insane. Hats off to Blizzard, though. I, it, 
To be able to sell a $90 mount in a $50 video game is incredible. I, um, you know, you got to give props to Blizzard. Milk them when you can. When you're, when you're seeing these players run around on this mount, it is, it is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So, let, uh, let Blizzard do what they're going to do. You know, this, this is no longer the game that we used to play. And I, I think there are a lot of people upset about this. And that's kind of what I, why I wanted to make this video. For the people that are upset about this, the game that we used to play is gone. It is it is a new game. Even if you go play a classic version, like uh, Kata, for example, um, e man, even the Burning Crusade when they had it, they're 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 putting microtransactions in the classic version. So there's a difference between. Let's talk about old school RuneScape a little bit. Old school RuneScape has two different versions. They have RS3 and they have OSRS. The retail version of that is RS3, and that has tons of microtransactions. But what it is, is it's the it's the sacrifice of that game. They're sacrificing that game and putting all the microtransactions in that to allow old school RuneScape to not have them. Blizzard, on the other hand, double dipped. They went microtransactions and mounts and all this other stuff and classic. Also, you can see where they are. And, and people will argue, well, it's Blizzard. They need to make money. If they don't make money, it's bad. They're a business. Guys, you don't think Blizzard's making money? You don't think Blizzard is doing okay? You guys are crazy. And, and I, I don't understand how you could argue and, and be so upset that Blizzard needs to make money. So this is, this is going to make me, oh, I'm supporting Blizzard. I'm buying the $90 mount. If I don't buy the $90 mount, wow, World of Warcraft might not be there tomorrow, right? It, it, this is insane. But like I said, it is what it is. Um... <laughs> If you see someone running on this mount, it's a cool mount. It is. It's a really cool mount. And that's why they're charging you $90. Okay? That's why they're charging you 90 bucks. And one more thing I will say about this. Uh, for the people that are arguing, because people are trying to argue why this is a good deal. And I'm not... I've had friends that are trying to argue that this is a big deal. And I'm watching their watching their live and they're talking about this and I'm like you're defending this this is this is insane you're a player who plays this game and you're streaming this game and you're trying to make profits off this game and you are okay with this blizzard here's the thing the more blizzard does this kind of kind of stuff the less people will play it. They're still going to make their money. They're still going to be okay. But the streamers, on the other hand, the people that make videos on this stuff, there's going to be less players playing the game, and that means less views for you. So the more you continue to support this, the more you continue to push this, this isn't good for, for the World of Warcraft community. Is it good for Blizzard? Absolutely. Is it good for you? No. Less players and them making more money does not help you out. So if you're a streamer, if you're, you make videos, if you make content, and, and you're okay with this, I think you need to rethink a, a few things. And that's just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. If your opinion is this is good, hey, that's your opinion. I, I'm not going to try to change that. But I would challenge you to think about what, what this does to the community overall because there are a lot of upset people about there there are a lot of upset people about this mount there are more people probably upset about this mount being ninety dollars than the people who've bought this mount there are a lot of people upset that players are uh that pretty much paid to win to start the game three days earlier than they did a lot of these things are adding up 
And I'm not saying World of Warcraft is going to die. The game is too big. It's not going to just sit there and fall off the face of the earth. But what I will say is this is not healthy for the game. We're, we're thinking about Classic Plus one day, right? With the blizzard that we have right now, Classic Plus will never be a thing. It will never be good. We got Season of Discovery. Look what they did with that. Look at the microtransactions in Classic Kata right now. It's insane to me that... That they double dip and triple dip on so many things. And the players argue that it's okay. We can't be mad at Blizzard anymore. If we want to make something happen... And we want something to change in Worlds of Warcraft... We need to do it as players. Unfortunately... There are so many players willing to be milked that we can't do much. And I say that because Asmongold has tried. Whether you like Asmund or you don't, I respect Asmund. I like his videos. I like him. I, I think he's a, uh, you know, I know he's a, uh, you know, he, you know, he says some crazy stuff sometimes, but I enjoy watching him. I enjoy uh, uh, listening to his perspectives on things. He tried for a really long time. And I don't know if people remember this. He tried for a really long time. He hated store mounts. And people would buy it just to uh, stand by him. It's like, dude, you just spent like, what, 25 bucks? 30 bucks on a mount? To stand by this streamer to show, hey, look at me. People do some crazy stuff. So... When mounts become $100, you will have a $100 mount. I promise you, you will have a $100 mount. Blizzard didn't do it. It was the players. It was the players that allowed them to milk them. And one day, they're going to milk them dry. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to milk another player. And you're going to be left there. Upset just like us. Right? What happens here? Oh, man. All right. One more thing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they say the next Mythic Plus season will now have two additional dungeons, but we are charging an extra $10 to unlock those dungeons? And you cannot get Keystone Master without them. What are you gonna do then? You gonna you gonna run the, the the Twitter and the the TikTok, and are you gonna be like, I needed it, two new dungeons for ten dollars. It's such a good deal. <laughs> it's gonna happen, and the players are allowing this to happen. GG. Blizzard, keep doing what you're going to do because the players are just going to keep eating it all up. <sighs> Am I buying this mount? Absolutely not. I, I haven't even bought War Within. I was doing a series where I was uh, trying to make gold to buy War Within. And uh, you're, we're actually almost there. We're like halfway there. So I'm going to continue to have fun and play the game and uh, farm some stuff. I don't raid anymore. I don't. I don't. I love Mythic Plus, but I probably won't even do that at this point. World of Warcraft has changed, and that's okay. But man, it sucks. All right, guys. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I do nothing but mess around in the video game, make horrible videos, and have different opinions. If you want to follow that, I'd love it. All right, guys. Talk with you guys again soon.